Hi, I'm Daryl. Thanks for dropping by and welcome to my channel Kiwi Adventurer. Kiwi Adventurer is about motorcycle travel, camping and adventure throughout New Zealand. If you'd like to know more, why don't you join me? Come for a ride. Some days are diamonds and this is one of them. The feeling of being footloose and free runs strong in my veins as it always does when sharing time with Blackie. Add what is a pretty valley made better with the colours of summer and with what's to come, you could say today is the perfect trip. It's no wonder I feel good. There's about nine kilometres of sealed road before the gravel starts. From here, where we are now, we follow the Mataki Taki River for 20 kilometres to the start of the Muria Saddle Road. Bring it on. So we can't be too far away. I think um, from memory, there's a bridge up there. We go back about 3K, then onto sort of long, like a, a, a long face like that with all the streams coming down and we go out that way. I'm not sure if we go around the other side of that one or go along the face of that one, but it'll be interesting finding out. Amazing country, little pockets of uh, awesome homes and farmland, just pockets of it well developed, beautiful homesteads. How about that? The things you see off road. Look at that water, so green and clear. So nice. nice. The sound of a stream running down through there. Really nice. And I finished filling up my water bottle with this beautiful water. Cold as. Mm. There are four e 
breezy fords dotted along the seven kilometres of this magnificent beech forest that are of no concern and wouldn't take long to fall if flooded by heavy rain owing to how geographically steep they are. I didn't have my camera on, we just went over the saddle, a couple of old signs, faded signs, nailed to a tree. So, downhill from here. We didn't climb this steeply, so it's quite unusual really. It's descending very quickly, but we didn't go, had no idea we climbed this high. Pass left, just what the doctor ordered. Springs Junction, 36 kilometres. Following the wide open valley south to Springs Junction was a relaxing affair and didn't take long, just as well I wasn't speeding. But I hasten to add, I never speed. Well, this country now the Lewis Pass area. We go through the pass, up through the bush and trees, and then we come down to Open River area leading to Hamner Springs. We've actually got to turn off the highway to get to Hamner Springs. This route was officially opened in 1937 as a vital link between the West Coast and Canterbury and as one of three passes that crossed the Southern Alps. It got a hammering after the Kaikoura coast was destroyed by a 7.8 earthquake six years ago. James Walkway is one of the most famous and there's a circle walk and it takes in the Spencer Mountains. These are all serious trampers that have gone tramping. Goes up way up around the valley, comes oh it's a beautiful tramp. This is the James Walkway. 
where it comes out. So it's gone all those hills we've come past for the last 10 minutes, it's gone right around and it comes out through that valley. We're about 30 kilometres to go to Hamner Springs. We're right down on the eastern side and the Canterbury side of of the saddle we just cross and Coming this far to um, Hamden is only 9k up the road just to make sure I've got some fuel but I've got enough to go to Kaikoura and then when I come down through Molesworth Station well I would turn around in Hamner and go back up the uh, rainbow so you wouldn't see this part so it's worth doing it. Uh, that's, that's an amazing uh, spot if you want to do a bit of thrill seeking, there's jet boating and bungee jumping and not only that pretty scenic so grab the moment while you can for a bit of white water rafting as well. Jet boating, white water rafting, and bungee jumping. Hmm. What do you reckon? <laughs> for the next stage. It's 22 kilometres to Mouse Point where we turn off to Waiau, which is 17 kilometres further on. The Braided River. How cool is that? The Wai, the Waiau River. It's a biggie. Do a lot of jet boating on this one. Good fishing too, eh? The old bloke.
I enjoyed an ice cream with three riders with the same idea, then started on the inland road to Kaikoura. The 82 kilometres to Kaikoura is a dream road for bike riders. It's very rare there is excessive traffic and one can ride hard out. It's the kind of road you fall into a free-flowing rhythm and thoroughly enjoy yourself. but too soon. As I always do, I rode through a bustling CBD to claim a table and time out with a view. Relaxing on the beachfront, reflecting on the day's sights and experiences, one of the many pleasures a day with Blackie brings. But now it's time to suss out a dock campground located in a valley and those mountains not far from here. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Pui, Pui Valley. Ah. Oh, it's right after all. Thirteen kilometres north of Kaikoura at the Hapuka River Bridge, I turned into Puhai Road and followed a dry, dusty gravel road into the interior. 
I pass what looked like a lifestyle hobby farm, nicely insulated away from Kaikoura and the far side. The bridge stumbling across the Puhi Puhi River looked like it could tell a story, but no doubt served a small community well. I wondered if it played its part with a massive flood back in 1993 when the Kaikoura town had floodwaters two metres deep run down the main CBD. After six kilometres, the dock campsite I was looking for came into view. The old DNA thingy that affects us adventure riders reared its head again. It was telling me to keep going and see what's around the next corner. I tried and I couldn't fight it. Besides, there were only a couple of campers in the camp, so I pressed on once again, wondering what I would see at Road's End. It was a harsh environment, and it too probably had a story to tell. I crossed the ford only to find out I wasn't allowed past this point. Them's the brakes, so I had a bit of a poke around as you do before heading back to camp for dinner. A picture speaks a thousand words and given a short space of time, heaps of dedicated Queenstown mountain bikes arrive seeking sunny weather after departing the pouring rain that was covering the lower half of the South Island. Well guys, that's the seaward kaikouras you're looking at behind me. And I'm going to wrap it up now. The trip down from Murchison through the Amuria Saddle, over the Lewis Pass, and past, past I can never think of the name, Hamner Springs. Uh, so we're going to give it a uh, a wrap now and the next section I'll be going from here up to just short of Blenheim to Dashwood and I'll head off through to um, uh, through the Molesworth station down to Hamner Springs and then from Hamner Springs back up through to uh, the Rainbow Road so keep an eye out for that one and I hope you got something out of this one and, and uh, have a great day and give me one of those if you want to. Cheers. See ya.